Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to hack the PA using Zaya Panel OS Virtual Machine. If you don't have a Zaya Panel OS Virtual Machine, I've created a video showing you how to create a Zaya Panel OS Virtual Machine using VirtualBox. The video will be linked in the description. Before we begin, we just have to make a disclaimer. Uh, disclaimer. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Do not perform any of the actions demonstrated in this presentation on any device with which you do not own or do not have strict legal authorization to use. End of disclaimer. Now before I get into the initial steps of hacking WPA, I'd just like to have a brief discussion on the methods we can use to hack WPA. Now there's the manual method which uses the aircrack NG suite via the command line interface, or there's the automated method which uses the Wi-Fi automation, or the feeding bottle GUI, or the mini D-Web GUI. Now in this presentation, I'll be using the aircrack NG suite via the command line interface, the manual method. Okay, to begin, let's open up VirtualBox. And then, once VirtualBox Manager is opened up, we can start the Zypan OS virtual machine. Okay, so the virtual machine now is running. Now here, it's best to choose the boot OS in virtualization mode as this is a virtualized environment and that's it the virtual machine is now loaded and this completes step one next step will be to attach the USB wireless device to the virtualized environment now the wireless USB adapter that I'll be using in this demonstration will be the Alpha Networks AWUS036H Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our wireless USB adapter into our host machine. Once it's attached to the host machine, we can then begin to attach it to the virtual machine by going to Devices, USB Devices, and selecting our wireless USB adapter. Okay, so once it's connected to the virtualized environment, let's just confirm that it's actually there, so we can do a if config with the A option to display all interfaces, whether down or up, and yep, the wireless interface is there. So that's good. So once we've verified that it's properly connected to the virtualized environment, we can then begin and move on to the next step. Okay, so to begin the WPA hack, we need to scan the area for relevant WPA networks. And before we can scan, we need to place our device into monitor mode using the m on ng start device command this will place our device into monitor mode which we can then use to scan the area for relevant devices it just takes a while to begin okay now monitor mode is on the mon what zero interface so now we begin to scan the area for relevant networks we can do that by using the encrypt option WPA to show only WPA access points and once we found our relevant network just press control C and then we, after we've found our rubber network, we can begin the targeted scan using the error dump ng. The specific channel we want to target, which is channel 1, right here. Then specify the BSSID, the built in address of the router itself, the access point. Just highlight it, press the middle mouse button. Then finally, we can specify an output file for our cap file. I'll choose a relevant name. Then we specify the interface. That begins a targeted scan of the network. Okay, so now in order to we want the next stage, we need to capture the handshake between the client and the main access point. Okay, so to begin the active 
capture, we need to open up another shell here and just expand that and use the here e play slash ng zero ten. What this does is it de authenticates the user ten times or de authenticates the client that we're going to be targeting that's connected to the access point, this client here, so we can begin the capture. So first we need to enter the access point details. Then we need to enter the client that's connected to the access point. Then we finally place the interface at the end. Then it begins as the authenticating client until the client begins to reconnect and there we go. Once the client reconnects after it's been authenticated, we capture the handshake. And that is how we capture ac handshake actively using a replay. Now at this point I unplug my wireless adapter from the host machine because it will no longer be required at the next stage, the cracking phase, the cracking stage where we need to actually crack the WPA handshake that's stored within the, the capture file. Okay, so let's just close all these. Okay, so let's open up another root shell and just confirm that our cap file is, capture file is present. Yep. Yep, and there's our capture file. And so now at this point we can begin to crack the capture file. But first we need to create a dictionary file that we can use with air crack. So to create just a short dictionary file, what we can do is we can use crunch specify the minimum, then the maximum, and just the character set, and then the output for the file name, we'll just call it pasta list, just do it very shortly. Once we've created our dictionary file, we can then use air crack ng, type air crack ng, followed by the name of the cap file followed by the w option and followed by the dictionary file and then it will begin to systematically go through the dictionary file until it locates the correct dictionary entry that matches the passphrase of the capture file and once the crack ng has found the key within the dictionary file. It lists the key at the top. And that is how we hack WPA using aircrack ng suite via the command line interface. I'd like to thank you for viewing this presentation and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'm Abyssum. If you have any concerns regarding this presentation you can direct those concerns at Zypan forums. Thank you again for viewing.